In this video, we will explore mathematical functions to round numbers up or down with Delphi. I will demonstrate the concepts in this project that you can create with me. Hi, it's Gerard here from Learn Delphi, where I help you to grow your Delphi programming knowledge and skills step by step and line by line. If you see value in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And all the links that I mention in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump in. Let's first look how our program must work. The user must type a decimal number in this edit and click the round up down button. The application must then round the number down to a whole number and show the result in this panel. It must also round the number up to a whole number and show it in this panel. We will also perform conventional rounding to the nearest whole number. In other words, our code must look at the fractional part of the number. If it is above 0.5, it must round it up, and below 0.5 must round down. In every video, we focus on a specific lesson and use those concepts in a sample project. We do our project step by step and test our code at regular intervals to see the results after I explain the code. I do not show you how to create the user interface, so that you can only focus on the code of the lesson we are doing. If you want, you can download the user interface and any other assets I use in the project to start immediately where I start with this lesson. The starter project file of this project is available for download on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash learndelphi. The link is also in the description. And I'm using Delphi 10.3 Community Edition to record these lessons. There's also a link in the description if you want to download a free copy of Delphi. You can pause the video here, go do the downloads, and meet me here again to do the rest of the project with me. I already made the text of the edit a decimal number, but you can overtype it with different inputs. I also added the memo here at the right side to guide you with a few decimal numbers you can use as inputs to test your results. Let's get our hands dirty in the code. Double click the button. All your code will be handled by this click event handler named BT in round up down click. Go above begin and type var. Press enter and type SNG decimal number as single. Enter and type int floor as integer. SNG decimal is a number of type single. It must read and store the number typed into the edit. int floor is an integer that will store the result when you round the decimal number down to a whole number. Go under begin and type three comments to separate input, processing and output. Go under input and type this statement. Here we read the text in the edit called edit decimal number and convert it to a floating point number with the string to float function. Then we assign the result to the single variable named SNG decimal number. Go under processing and type this statement. The floor function receives a floating point number as an argument. If it is a whole number, it will just return the same number, for example, 9 will stay 9. If it is a decimal number, it will round it down to the nearest whole number. For example, 9.49 will be rounded down to 9. Even if the number is halfway between the two whole numbers, like 9.5, it will be rounded down to 9. If the number passed halfway, like 9.51, it will still be rounded down and return 9. It doesn't matter how close the fractional part of the number is to the upper whole number between the two integers. The floor function will always return the lower one. Let's output the result in a panel and test it. Go under output. Type this statement. Here we read the value in int floor that we processed a few seconds ago and convert it to a string. Then you assign it to the caption of a panel named PNL floor. Run the project. Use the values in the memo to test your program. Type 9 first. Click the button. The floor of 9 is 9. Type 9.49. Click the button. The floor of 9.49 is also 9. Now type 9.5 in the edit. 
The floor of 9.5 is also 9, even though the decimal is halfway. Type 9.51, click the button. The floor of 9.51 is still 9, even though the decimal is closer to 10 now. Now try it with the rest of the numbers in the memo. 10 stays 10. 10.49 rounds down to 10. 10.5 also rounds down to 10. And 10.51 is also 10. Close the form. Put your cursor after the integer named INT floor. Type comma. INT ceiling. INT ceiling is also an integer that will store the result when you round the decimal number up to the nearest whole number. Make a new line under this statement and type this code. Ceiling is the opposite of floor. It also receives a floating point number as an argument. If it is a whole number, it will just return the same number. For example, 9 will stay 9. If it is a decimal number, it will be rounded up to the nearest whole number. For example, 9.49 .9 will be rounded up to 10. So it rounds up even if the fractional part is closer to the lower whole number. If the number is halfway between the two whole numbers, like 9.5, it will be rounded up to 10. If the number passed halfway, like 9.51, it will also be rounded up and return 10. It doesn't matter how close the fractional part of the number is to the lower whole number between the two integers. The ceiling function always returns the higher number. Let's also output the result in a panel and test it. Go under Output. Type this statement. Here we read the value in INT ceiling and convert it to a string. Then you assign it to the caption of a panel named PNL ceiling. Run your project. Use the values in the memo to test your program. Type 9. Click the button. Look at the output in the second panel. The ceiling of 9 is 9. Type 9.49. Click the button. The ceiling of 9.49 .9 is 10, even though the decimal is closer to 9 than it is to 10. Now type 9.5 in the edit. The ceiling of 9.5 is also 10. Type 9.51. Click the button. The ceiling of 9.51 is still 10. Now try it with the rest of the numbers in the memo. 10 stays 10. 10.49 rounds up to 11, even if it is not past halfway. 10.5 also rounds up to 11. And 10.51 is also 11. Close the form. Put your cursor after the integer named INT ceiling. Type comma INT round. Make a new line under this statement and type this code. The round function decides by itself if a decimal number must be rounded up or down. It will depend on how near the fractional part of the decimal number is to the next whole number. But it also takes into consideration whether the integral part is an odd or an even number. Let's finish the code and test the program, then I will explain what I mean. Let's first write code to output the result in a panel, then we can test it. Go under Output. Type this statement. Here we read the value in INT round and convert it to a string. Then you assign it to the caption of a panel named PNL round. Now run the project. Use the values in the memo to test your program. Type 9. Click the button. Look at the output in the third panel. 9 stays 9. Type 9.49. .9. Click the button. 9.49 .9 rounded is 9, because 0.49 is closer to 9 than it is to 10. Now type 9.5 in the edit. 9.5 is rounded to 10 because the fractional part of the decimal number is halfway to 10. I will make a note of this result because you will see something strange in a moment. So 9.5 rounds up to 10. Type 9.51. Click the button. 9.51 is also 10. That also makes sense. It is closer to 10 than it is to 9. Now try it with the rest of the numbers in the memo. 10 stays 10. So 10.49 will also round to 10. Now this is where the strange part is. Type 10.5. When we tested 9.5 it rounded up to 10. 
but 10.5 doesn't round up to 11. So what the heck is going on? Let's continue and I will explain. Test it with 10.51. Now the number rounds up to 11. Let's see what is happening here. As I mentioned earlier, the Alfie's round function must decide by itself if a decimal number must be rounded up or down. It will depend on how near the fractional part of the decimal number is to the next whole number. But it also takes into consideration whether the integral part of the whole number is an odd or an even number. Round also receives a floating point number as an argument. If it is a whole number, it will just return the same number because it is already round. For example, 9 will stay 9. If it is a decimal number, it will round it up or down to the nearest whole number. For example, 9.49 .9 is closer to 9 than it is to 10, so it will be rounded down to 9. That is straightforward. If the number is halfway between the two whole numbers, like 9.5, it will be rounded up to 10, if the integral part of the number is an odd number. If the number is past halfway, like 9.51, it will also be rounded up. 10 is already round, so it will stay 10. 10.49 will round down to 10, because it is closer to 10 than it is to 11. But 10.5 will round to 10 and not to 11, even if it is halfway to 11. That is because the round function goes to the nearest even number, when the fractional part of the decimal number is exactly halfway. In other words, 0.5. 11 is an odd number, so the round function chose 10 because it is an even number. As soon as it goes further than 0.5, like 0.51, the decimal number rounds up to the nearest whole number, which is 11 in this case. Keep this in mind when doing rounding in your mathematics. I've seen many times how students get this wrong. If you always want to round up when a fraction is exactly 0.5, use a little bit of conditional logic and the ceiling function to get the result you want. Close the form and save your project. Next time, we will continue with mathematical functions in a new project. If you had fun with this project, leave a comment under this video. And if you learned something new, please like, subscribe and share my lessons with your friends. Thank you for watching and a special thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com. Happy coding! See you next time!